So here we are in the Santa Fe Arts District, which is one of my favorite neighborhoods in Denver, particularly because it is my neighborhood in Denver. A couple years ago, I was able to find a home of my dreams right smack dab in the middle of this vibrant neighborhood. It's so awesome. It is packed with artists, culture, and history. There is so much to be found down here. And today, it's first Friday. Everyone's getting set up and ready to go. It's a great big party. I am Holly Jarris with Denver Luxury Real Estate and I'm happy to be your host for this segment of American Dream TV, Selling Denver. So while everyone's still getting set up for First Friday, I'm actually gonna go meet up with one of my favorite artists, Lisa. I actually bought a painting from her when I first moved in, and I can't wait to show her where I hung it in my home. So why don't you join me? Hi Lisa, it's so great to see you. Hi Holly, it's great to see you too. Down here in the art district for First Friday, are you? Yes, I am. I just got off work at DART. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm so happy I ran into you. I would love to take you to my home and show you where I hung your beautiful painting. Oh, I can't wait. That oh. sounds great. Awesome. Come with me. It's right over here. So here we are. Welcome to my home, Lisa. And here is your painting. Oh, wow. Yeah, that it looks, looks so nice here. I just love it. I stare at it all the time. That looks awesome. Yeah, so tell me, how did you get started in art? Have you always been an artist? I was not. Um, I actually grew up uh, with a degree in finance and accounting. Wow. Yeah. That's a pivot. <laughs> it's it's a little different. I was and and you know you don't always want to be too creative in accounting. So <laughs> I used uh, my creativity then for for artwork later on. Wow. And so you are part of the Dark Gallery, which is right next door, and the Sink Gallery, correct? Yes. And that's just kind of behind us. They're both on Santa Fe. Dart just finished their third year. We just had our third anniversary. Oh, so so it was a great party and a, a wonderful experience building a foundation with them. It was so nice to start the business up um, from that's, scratch almost. Oh, that, so you've been in it, part of it from the beginning. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> that's awesome. And how many artists are kind of over there. We have 18 artists um, oh at this point in time, and it's it's just a wonderful experience working with all of them. That's awesome. And how do you like being part of the whole Santa Fe Arts District? I think it's great. I, one thing that I really love about it is that everybody tries to support each other. We're out there to make a difference and just um, really help each other out whenever necessary. When I found my home and I was so excited to be able to get into this neighborhood because it's not easy to find a home in this neighborhood. No, it's not. Yeah, such high demand and just being right next door to downtown too, but so much culture and history here. And it's convenient too to get around. Yeah, super convenient. Okay, well I'm about to head outside and check out First Friday and my first stop is going to be over at the Dark Gallery so I can check that out. Okay, cool. So here we are at the Dark Gallery. This is one of the places that Lisa is featured. This is one of my favorite galleries. It has a special place in my heart because this was the first gallery I walked into when I moved to this neighborhood. But there is over 30 art galleries in this neighborhood, housing hundreds of artists, which makes it such an amazing neighborhood. But the secret has gotten out. So now our struggle is to find that balance where artists can still afford to be here and we get to appreciate them and enjoy them um, even as the neighborhood becomes more and more in demand. So first Friday's best day of the month and it happens every single month all year round. All the art galleries stay open late. Um, even artists and craftspeople come and line the streets with their artwork. You can find a piece from $10 all the way up to $10,000. There's just a ton of variety, something for everybody. And the food trucks are out, the restaurants are hopping, drinks are flowing, it's just so much fun. So you have to make sure you to stop down for First Fridays. And when you do, make sure you stop in at the Dart Gallery. Thanks so much for joining me for this segment of American Dream TV, Selling Denver. I'm Holly Jarris. I'll see you next time.